Senhor. Hi guys, it's Panda and as you can see, we're back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I built Rapunzel's tower in Bloxburg. Yes, it was really worth it to be honest. This was amazing. I hope you enjoy it. So let's get to it. I'm going to first start out with the entrance. As Flynn goes into the movie of where Rapunzel is in her tower, there is huge rocks and vines covering the area. So I just decided to recreate rocks with a little doorway that blends in.
I got tired of all the rock and all the grass in the front so I started doing the water surrounding the whole tower. I tried to make it a little curved but I fixed it at the end. Now we're going to be building the outline for the tower. As you're going to see, I had no idea how to make it look circular, but also we're building in Bloxburg, so it took me a little of tries, but we got there. The top of the tower where Rapunzel's room is sticks out a little bit compared to the rest of the park so I decided to recreate that and make it more room for Rapunzel's bedroom. there this is way too much I need to give some back she insisted on me keeping some so I just kept 10k and gave her the rest she eventually paid most of it throughout the video I had a little bit trouble on the roof since Rapunzel's tower is a little bit pointed but in Bloxburg you can't really do that so I tried my best on it. And here's the famous Rapunzel's bedroom window where she lets down her hair. Since she has lots of plants in the front of it, I decided to add some. But wait, take a look at all these people outside. I can't believe they are waiting for me and watching me as I do this huge build. I also wanted some more texture so I added in these lights and colored them brown. While building, one of my fans said they had something for me and I had to put down a poster. So I listened to them and put it down. And I couldn't wait at this point. I didn't know what the surprise was. Take a look at how awesome this is. It has a picture of me, her, and Panda Squad. Thank you so much, Joy Gamer Life. This was the sweetest thing I've ever had done for me. Yes, I know, you must be thinking, how do you know the bottom two floors look like? Well, I used my creativity and imagination to recreate it. I made a kitchen, a bedroom for Mother Gothel, because most likely she would have to live there and there would be a kitchen. Just Rapunzel would be locked in her room or something, right?
also added in some dark plants because most likely they would be dead or creepy looking. Now we're going on to the second floor it would be Mother Gothel's bedroom. I decided to put a one bed for a minute and then I changed it up a bit. I also think she would admire herself a lot so I put in a huge mirror. Okay, we need a second to take a look at all these people. Guys, you are amazing. Thank you so much for letting my dream come true. I know this was a little evil of me, I added in some skulls, but you know what? She kidnapped Rapunzel, didn't she? So I put the skulls hiding underneath her desk, right there. And for my favorite part, Rapunzel's bedroom. So her bed is really close to the window as I saw in a photo. So I added in a secret bathroom because of course she needed to use the bathroom and lots of clothes which I colored purple because the only thing we see her wearing is a purple dress. And remember that huge painting she did of the lights? Well, that's why I added in four posters for me to get the code and put them in. Right next to the posters is the closet that she put Flynn Rider into. Now these curtains are supposed to mimic vines so I colored them green too. So surrounding her painting is curtains to keep it away from her mother Gothel. So I put in these pillars because I couldn't really put in a window and then curtains on top of the posters. These pillars mimic the curtains. And of course you could not forget about the pan so I didn't really only have one pan so I put it in. So at this point you must be thinking what are you building right now? If you look very carefully at Rapunzel looking through the mirror while she puts on the stolen tiara that's actually her parents, you can see that there's this little machine behind it. Of 
course, you need a huge mirror, because what girl doesn't have a huge mirror, right? Now with these lights, I wanted to imitate the lanterns all around her room that she has decorated on her walls, so that's what I did there. Also, I got this idea from watching another video. It has lights going down imitating Rapunzel's hair. So I colored it two different shades to actually look like hair and added my own personal style to it. not forget about the art supplies so I added that in. Thank goodness I didn't forget. I realized I was pretty much done with the tower so I decided to add in water all around it. There's also this huge waterfall at the back of her tower, so I recreated that with lots of pillars. I even asked one of my fans that were still outside and gave her some money to color them. Thank you so much for helping me. To make the separation from water to grass more natural, I decided to add in tons of rocks surrounding it. And it turned out pretty cool if you ask me. You don't have to agree though. to give a little bit of shape so I decided to add in these flat stairs and I recreated them as a huge part of the mountain making them rocks. You can also build this as a secret room if you decide to rebuild what I am doing. I wanted a little bit more water because I had a lot of money left over so I decided to make a different type of waterfall that would fall into the lake.
At this point, I also wanted to add in a secret room, which I did not use actually, so I added in a little doorway and a space. If you would like to make this, then I would suggest keeping more space because I couldn't fit between it, sadly. Now I'm placing the grass, be aware because I am going to be deleting this a few times to add in some dearth pathways and whatnot. By the way, at the entrance when Flynn walks in, there is a huge mountain that he walks under of rocks piled up, so that's what I'm recreating his entrance way. I also felt that this space was a little plain so I added in another waterfall. But wait, there is a crazy fan out there. Take a look at this. Moonlight, I will find you. I am coming for you. Come back. No, she ran away with her car because she's smart and didn't come back. So, I never got to pay her back. I will find you. But I forgot to thank her. Thank you so much, Moonlight. This really helps for this build. Even though... I am going to pay this back next time I find you, so be aware of this. Nearing the end of the build, I realized that I really wanted a dearth pathway that Flynn walks on, so that's why I deleted this huge area of grass and made it go to the bridge side.
over here is where I created another secret area. You could put in literally anything, make rooms or whatever. I added in just little benches. Now it's time to add in lots of decoration for the outside with mud, trees, and also more. I also wanted Rapunzel to have some more paintings of herself that she must have done. So I added those in and I added some finishing touches to the rest of the build. That's pretty much it. And when I finished, I got these amazing pictures. So I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out! Thanks for watching! Bye!